Yo, Gemini, what is up? Time to bust out your December reading. I just, I can't get over it, man. I cannot believe it is already December. I don't know about y'all, but for me, 2020 has just flown by. Pew! I mean, where'd it go, you know? I, I seem to say that every year. I think a lot of us say that every year, but it just kind of seems like 2020 probably should should have been one of those years that went by a little bit slow uh, for some of us. I don't know. Not for me, though. Not for me. Anyway, uh, if you would like information on scheduling a personal reading, look in the description of the video. Okay. We are doing same day readings only and 2222 live mini readings. I will let everybody know when we decide to transition back to the schedule, but right now, that's what we're working with, okay? If you would like information on how to schedule that or get it booked or whatever, description of the video, okay? Anyway, let's see what you got here. Enough babbling. What do we got for Gemini Universe? Gemini, December 2020. I'm honestly kind of, uh, see, usually whenever uh, I start shuffling and throwing the intention out there, I start getting visions and uh, feelings. And I'm not, I'm kind of feeling a blank. So I feel like I will be just as surprised as you whenever the first card hits the, <laughs> the first card here. I'm just as surprised as you, five of pentacles in the reverse, okay? Honestly, not 100% sure which path I wanna take with that just yet, okay? We could branch off over here. There's some of you in which there is going to be uh, a return. Somebody's coming back around after after maybe being ghosted or being abandoned. Uh, others of you could be getting over being ghosted, being abandoned, something like that. We'll see here. Let's see. Five shuffles here. One. Two. Three more. Six of Pentacles reversed. Okay. All right. So I think I think this is probably the latter of the two. Okay, choices that I just mentioned. I think that uh, you're getting over it. Okay. I think, and I, I know that a lot of you who have followed me for a while have heard me break this down and explain it. But right as soon as you're getting over it, you're getting over this. Okay. This is something I think that came to an end in the past. Right as soon as you actually in here, in here, begin to be okay. All right, cool. I'm getting over this, getting used to the new swing of life, getting, you know what I mean? Then, here they come. Then here they come. Now they want to reach out. Now they want to talk to you. Now, all of a sudden, they have feelings for you. They probably did the whole time, but this is much of a dynamic of, I think this person, now hear me out here. Just the simple fact that they were able to hurt you and they were able to have that emotional power over you made them feel good about themselves. Once they started to lose that emotional power, oh no, you know what I mean? That makes sense? Some people are like that. There's a lot of people like that. They get high on the ability. Oh, okay. Well, that shows me that you care. If I'm able to hurt your feelings, you care about me. Yeah, that means that means I mean something. That mean, Yeah, that makes me feel like I'm worth something because somebody else is heartbroken over me. Sounds like a really twisted way to think, but there's a lot more people out there that operate like that than you would think. And that's what's happening here. And then what happens? What happens the minute you let go? You know what? I really don't care anymore. It's cool. <gasps> well, there, while you cared, while you were heartbroken, it felt like I meant something. Now that you don't care, now I don't really feel like I mean something. So now let's, let, let's spin the cycle around again. Pew! Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles, both reversed. I think you're cool with it now. Yeah, I'm good. I'm healing up. Oh, 
Oh, they don't like that, do they? I think they've been waiting. They've been waiting for you to make a return. And you didn't do it, did you? No. Let's look a little bit more at this person here, okay? Past person Gemini is dealing with. Okay, if you are not dealing with or interested in a past person, this is not for you. Look at the past person Gemini is dealing with. Mm, six of wands, okay. All right, yep, so I, I think that, uh, I think this person has a bit of an ego problem, honestly. Like, I think that's the, there, they felt like they, were the one they came out on top you know and uh i don't know i don't know hey hang on hang on one two more mm, the lover's card <laughs> see that could be another Gemini that you're dealing with. Some of you could be dealing with a twin flame. That's not going to be everybody. Okay, like I've said a million times, uh, even if it's not a twin flame, which it won't be for everybody, uh, it's the intensity level is about the same as far as the connection goes. Vibrationally, it's a different connection than a twin flame, but intensity-wise, it's very similar. Very intense connection, okay? <clears throat> and this person has been very burdened by this, okay? Right now, I think, see, this right here is a front. I really, I think this person is the type of person that, uh, I don't really think it's just you. I think this manifests in many different ways in this person's life of different ways to make me feel better about myself, you know? including but not limited to if somebody misses me makes me feel good about myself yeah somebody misses me makes me feel important makes me feel like i'm worth something you know and then the minute they realize that the tower has fallen that there is no rebuilding this tower oh shit well now i don't really feel like i'm worth anything anymore because this person doesn't miss me anymore Okay, the doorway is slammed shut. I do think that uh, they are on a good note, on a positive note, developing a sense of emotional independence. Okay, but I don't really know if they're utilizing this correctly. Okay, because nine of pentacles in the reverse, there's still some sort of codependency type of issues here. You could be dealing with somebody who's a bit of a financial bum. Okay, make some good money. Oh, I want some of that. You know, and it doesn't really matter. I'm not really saying that the person's broke. You can be a bum and not be broke. You know that, right? You know, let's say, for example, you make 250 grand a year. I make 250 grand a year. Together, we make half a million. And that's all I really give a shit about. It's all I really give it. You know, so when I say a, a financial codependence, I don't necessarily mean, I mean, for some of you, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, it could it could be like this broke jobless bum that has that has nothing just mooching off of you. But I mean that that energy can manifest in many different ways. Okay, many many different ways. But yeah yeah. Uh, again this this right here is a front. Okay this is a fake cloak to hide this to hide this. Okay. So like if this person on their Facebook or on their Instagram, you know how people. Do. They try to make it look way better than it is. When actually, this is what's going on on the inside. And you know this. You know this. But there is a very intense connection, though. Don't get that part twisted for a minute. Okay? Don't get it twisted for a minute. I don't care who you are. No connection happens by accident. Especially these really intense ones. These connections, like I said, the twin flames, all, you know, even again, it's not, it's not going to be a twin flame for everybody. It's not. Okay. But even if it is, or if it isn't, these intense connections, the ones that it's like, there's no avoiding it. And when you have this connection, it just flips your brain inside out and completely changes your outlook on life. You know, you've had those connections before. And I think this is one of them for a lot of you. One of those connections that's so intense, it just changes you as a person. They don't happen by accident. 
They don't, even if it's not a positive outcome, uh, this person could be your worst enemy. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, any connection that impacts you to that degree did not happen by accident. It was very intentional, okay? So, and they feel that connection. They feel it, for sure. And they have this whole time. I just think that uh, from a human level perspective, 3D perspective, I don't really think that they were utilizing it uh, properly. Not really. Anyway, let's see. Let's look at the new person. Okay. This is Gemini's who are dealing with a new person. If you're not dealing with or interested in a new person, this is not for you. This is for Gemini's dealing with or interested in new things coming in. Okay. Feels to me so far like you all are on a pretty positive path. Okay. At least the path, the pathway is leading towards positivity. It's good. It's not headed down a, down a downward spiral, you know. Boom, page of cups. Okay, well, we already knew that. New stuff coming in. Could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, could be just a little bit immature, too, possibly. But that page right there, especially when the intention that I put in is new. Okay, I mean... To be naive doesn't necessarily mean that you're young and stupid. I mean, I don't care who you are. You could be Gandhi for Pete shit sakes. If you're entering into uncharted territory and in, in an experience that you've never experienced, you're going to be naive to everything going on around you. It's just part of life, you know? So anyway, I trailed off. I digress. Five shuffles. One. Two. Three. This deck. I, I thought I could bust this old deck back out. Uh, oh, I've had this deck forever. Months and months and months and months. I usually don't let them last that long. Usually as soon as they start shuffling a little bit funny, I, I, I buy a new one. No, I've been making it a very strong point to shuffle these things until they won't shuffle anymore. Okay. All right, so I don't really know. I, look, okay, this is very typical, okay? This person is fighting an inner battle that has nothing to do with you, okay? This is what comes through the vast majority of the time I pull for the new person, okay? We have to understand, ladies and gentlemen, it is 2020. Every last one of us has a past. Every last one of us. Okay. A lot of times we get too hung up, too hung up on, on, you know, what I want and where I want to move towards. And then we try to shut out the past and try to ignore it. And especially we don't want to give anybody else, you know, we don't want to, like, we get a little bit selfish sometimes like, Oh, your past. I don't care about that. That has nothing to do with me that, you know what I mean? So we, we don't even really take somebody else's past into consideration. Okay. Uh, but uh, it, it looks here like this person is fighting a hell of an inner battle. I, this doesn't look honestly very uh, uh, right now, unless somebody here, one, the other, or both of you needs to back off a little bit and uh, allow some time for some healing. But uh, yeah, yeah, with the Eight of Cups reversed, uh, world reversed, this person may be dealing with an ex that they either haven't moved on from or is going to try to come back around. Uh, so the Ten of Pentacles reversed overall here. I, it doesn't really look like there's a whole, whole lot of uh, potential here, honestly. Um, I wasn't expecting that. I was kind of hoping with that Page of Cups popping out there that it would be a little bit more positive than that. But um, yeah, I think before too, too long, uh, this, this looks to me like somebody's still hung up on the past. Probably the person that you're dealing with, okay? Um, just my only advice, I'm not going to say just go ghost somebody and, and just say, oh, okay, well, I can't. Just always remember, when you're dealing with a new person, take it slow. Understand, just like you have a past, so do they, okay? And you have to take into accountability that it's my responsibility. If, if me and you get together and you're new, you know, we don't know each other, it's my responsibility to provide an environment where you can heal. I can't heal you. I can't do it for you. You know, I can't do your emotional work for you, but I can provide as safe and comfortable of an environment as possible so that you can deal with whatever inner battles that you got to deal with judgment free without me judging you without me, you know, 
if, if I don't do that, which is really hard for us to do, we want to get all pushy and, you know, shove our nose into it and put our two cents in and tell you what you should do and what you shouldn't do. And, and that just makes people's walls goes up. It makes them, it pushes people away, you know? Uh, so yeah, unless we decide here with this new person to take a new stance on this and maybe just back off a little bit, I don't really think it's going to last very long. I don't think so. Okay. It looks like, uh, this person here is dealing with too much past shit. Uh, so I personally wouldn't dump a whole lot of emotion into that basket. Okay. Anyway, on that note though, let's look at the outcomes resting in the current moment. Okay. There will be an overall advice for all Gemini's, the first card, and then uh, outcome with the past person, then outcome with the new person, okay? Okay, High Priestess. Four shuffles in. Two. Two more. Queen of Wands reversed, okay. All right, so I think that's tied very closely to that High Priestess right there, okay? See, it's very, very easy. Whenever we allow our egos to overthink, okay? we can come up with some pretty grandiose ideas, okay? And that's not bad. Your, your imagination is the most intense faculty that you have, okay? However, if you don't genuinely initially feel like a passion or a fire, even if it's just a little bitty flicker and flame, okay? I'm not saying that, uh, you know, you have to feel this roaring fire. That'd be nice. But all you got to feel is a little bitty flicker and flame, okay? If you don't have that, if you really like, like if it's, I don't care if it's a person, I don't care if it's a job, I don't care who or what it is. If you genuinely, your very first initial gut reaction is, Ugh. don't force yourself to try to ignite the fire, okay? Don't try to force yourself. If you can't get that fire lit, leave it alone, okay? I'll give you a perfect example. And I, I think a lot of you have probably heard me give this example, but uh, keep this in mind. This is very powerful and very true. Let's say you have a choice, okay? You have a choice between taking two different jobs, okay? Job A and job B. Job A, this is just like your dream job, dude. Oh my God, you just, this is what you've always wanted to do your whole life. I can't believe I finally get the opportunity to do this for a living. Pays $100,000 a year, okay? Job B pays a million dollars a year, but just hearing the job description induces a migraine. Oh, I could not imagine putting myself through that. Oh, that's going to suck, but a million dollars a year. You know, most people would still take the million dollar a year job over their dream job. Okay? Most people would. Unbeknownst to most people, with that flicker and flame of passion, okay, you can take that $100,000 and flip it into $10 million into 10 million while well, you've got this person over here who's hates their life but ooh, they make a million a year but they, they're miserable all the time but then you got this person over here okay i only make a hundred grand whatever but watch me take my passion and flip it and end up better off than you not only am i better off than you financially but i'm happier than you at the same time it's a win-win when you follow your fire okay i know at least one person needed to hear that Outcome with the past person. Oh, I'm going to have to get a couple of clarifiers here, but there's not a whole lot of movement. Okay, some of y'all could be dealing with a Libra. But uh, when it all comes down to it, um, I think you are more than likely going to ignore this person. Okay, like I said, I don't really think you're trying to make a statement at this point. I don't even really feel like there's a statement that needs to be made. I just feel like at this point, you're probably just going to choose to ignore it. You had your chance. They had their chance and they blew it. That's probably what I'm going to title this video because that's what that's all. That's the whole thing. It's just, you know, and again, there is a very specific science as to why this works this way. 
as far as energy behavior, which is what I specialize in, uh, but I don't really have time to dig that up right now, but that's the way it works. You had your chance. The minute I release, now you want to come back? Sorry. Sorry, too late. Whatever you pursue will energetically run from you. Whatever you back away from will energetically follow you. How can you find that switch in your mind to make that happen and use it to your advantage? Think about that. Okay, the outcome with the new person here, uh, not a whole lot of movement here either. Okay, I think there's some codependency issues here. Five of Cups, yeah, I think you're probably going to end up disappointed. Okay, you have a lot of love to give. You have a huge heart, and you're ready to share it, right? You're ready. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, we don't need to go pursue it, okay? We don't need to go pursue somebody to share our love with. Uh, we need to attract a person to share our love with. I think more than likely, again, like I said, unless, could be a cancer that you're dealing with here, but unless you um, take it upon yourself to take a different stance on this and maybe maybe back up a little bit, okay? Because this right here can be some pretty intense energy. Maybe just back up a little bit and, and let this coast a little bit slower and don't try to be so pushy. I do think that uh, one, the other, or both of you is going to end up disappointed, okay? I don't really see a lot of potential with that. Anyway, now let's get to the best spread of the entire reading. Uh, I call it meat and taters sometimes, but it's uh, things to watch out for and advice moving forward. And the reason why this is the best spread of the whole reading is because you don't need to be a Gemini. You don't need to be a cross watcher. It doesn't really matter who you are at all. You can take something from this spread, okay? You can take something, some of this advice. Okay, this is just general spiritual and life adv advice for anybody that needs to hear it. Things to watch out for and advice moving forward. Three shuffles. One, two, and three. Hmm, Ace of Cups reversed. Okay. Again, don't go pursuing love. Don't go pursuing. See, energetically speaking, if we're pursuing something, if we're if I'm chasing after something, not only is it going to run for me, but where the the vibration that I'm casting to the universe is that I don't have it. That vibration, that initial subconscious vibration is what the universe responds to. So why would I be pursuing something that I have? Think about it. Okay? In my mastery, one of the little techniques that that uh, was taught was think of something that you're already on the frequency of. Your car. How does it feel to have that car? How does it feel? Do you need to go pursue a car because you're without transportation? No. It might be nice to have a new car, but do you, do you, you know what I mean? You see what I'm saying? You get the point? Okay, if I'm pursuing love, the vibration that I'm casting with that intention is that I don't have love. I wouldn't be pursuing something that I was filled with. If I'm filled with it, I don't need to pursue it. Okay? So, again, remember that love is not something somebody can bring to you. It's something somebody can share with you. But in order to share, you have to have something to bring to the table. Think about that. Okay? Oh, watch out for people that can't make up their damn mind. Okay? Watch out for people who are constantly up in their head and all they're doing is thinking, 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 thinking. Uh, it's time to shit or get off the pot, man. We got mountains to climb. We got mountains to climb. We got goals to accomplish. Uh, I don't know about you, but uh, I most certainly don't ever want to find myself just sitting in the same spot vibrationally. Not vibrationally. We got mountains to climb. If you're just going to sit around and think, huh, what if this, what if that, what if this, what if that, shoulda, coulda, woulda, what if I would have done this, what if this happens, what if that happens, blah, 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 blah. and all you do is you're just spinning around in a circle. Whether you know this person or you are this person. If you know this person, back away. Okay? Back away. Uh, ba -da -da -ba -da -da -ba -da Don't, okay, one of the biggest traps that we find ourselves in, one of the biggest ones, is that... If I go out of my way to completely drain myself 
and I'm not even in the position to help you, that makes me a good person, right? That makes me a good person to completely deplete myself of everything and keep trying to help when I'm in no position to help. I'm actually going around destroying things. If I am in no position to help you and I try to help you, I'm doing more harm than good. I'm not doing you or me a favor. Not doing either of us a favor, okay? Remember, it, see, the difference between service to self and service to others is that service to self people are of service to only themselves. Service to others requires more self-discipline because, yes, it behooves you to be of service to yourself so that you can be of service to others, okay? Do not forget to put yourself as your number one priority. Just don't be of only service to yourself. That makes sense? All right. So anywho, I feel like the messages y'all needed to hear have come through. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Remember to look in the description for information on scheduling a personal reading, okay? Um, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'll see you sometime between now and the rest of all eternity. All right? Have a good one.